if you guys want to learn how to make a kill all players GUI in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a kill all players GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So the scripts are in the description and let's get into it. So first insert a screen GUI into started GUI and then set reset on spawn to false and we can rename this to kill all players GUI. Then insert a text button and you can customize this however you like. I'm just gonna quickly customize it and I'll just speed run this. Okay, there we go. So I've got the button made and we can rename this to whatever. I'll just do button and then insert a local script and the script will be in the description. So script our parent our mouse button one click connect function then local player is equal to game dot players dot local player game dot marketplace service prompt product purchase player comma zero. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly go over this. So we see when uh this mount when this button gets clicked here using mouse button one click function and then we create a variable for the player so that we can actually prompt this like the robux purchase on that screen and we prompt it to that player which is the local player and then the zero is the id of the uh, robux game pass or this in this case it's a developer product so you can buy it multiple times so it's zero right now because we're going to make it later so we can just exit out of that and i've asked ai over here wait i just need a so ai made a simple marketplace service script so we can copy that and this script will be in the description so what it does is it uses marketplace service and it processes a receipt so we can detect whenever the receipt has been like it's been printed out so basically if we've bought the the this this from the script but this one's zero so we'll have to make the developer product just now so i'm going to just quickly get rid of all of these comments uh, you can read through them and it will help you understand and we can just get rid of that so this is all we need right here and we'll just change that to zero because we don't need the id because we're going to make our own so now for icon v in pairs in pairs players get players and we're gonna actually name that to player then we can say player dot character wait for child humanoid dot health is equal to zero so we're killing all of the players in the server okay so now let's actually we can close that out now let's actually make the uh, ID for this so I've already published my game and then once you've done that click on game settings go over to monetization and then developer products click on create and then go here click edit you can change the name our name is to kill all players and we'll set to 150 save that and then let's go back over here let's oh it's been blurred out Pay players, maybe. That might work. Okay, that worked. Then copy the ID. Then go back to the local script and paste it where that zero was. And then in the server script, paste it here as well. Okay, so now it is going to be working. So let's click on play. And if we click on it and we buy it, this won't actually like take away Robux from your account. As you can see, this is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged. So we buy it. <coughs> And you can see everyone died, but I'm the only one in the server, so only I died. And you can buy it as many times as you like. I'm going to just quickly go into a multiplayer server and show you what it looks like with everyone. Okay, guys, so I've got all three players here, and we're going to say this player buys it. So once you buy it, everyone in the server just died then. And then we can make player one, I think. And yeah, so yeah. That's it for today's video. Bye, guys.